Welcome ulit sa lesson natin sa basic operating system with networking at uh, nasa week 4 na tayo at lesson 4. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa types of network. So, uh, pan, lan, man, and one. So, napapansin nyo, uh, from the very beginning sa lesson 1 natin sa or sa week 1 natin napapansin niyo sa yung mga types of network usually yung lan. Eh so kasi uh, habang pinapag-aralan natin yung mga devices, yung mga uh, classification of networks. So hindi natin maiiwasan na na ma-discuss natin ito mga to. Okay? So as we go on, yan, uh, lagi natin naririnig yung mga types of network, classification of network. So, habang tumatagal, tumatagal uh, mas maiintindihan din natin. Okay, so, ito, yung types of networks, uh, that is a PAN, LAN, MAN, and one. And uh, PAN stands for Personal Area Network. And LAN, Local Area Network. Man, Metropolitan Area Network, and One, Wide Area Network. Okay? So, ito yung mga ano nila. Uh, network associated with an individual person is called PAN or the Personal Area Network. Okay? So, network is a small geographical area. The room, building, or a campus is called Local Area Network. Okay? And network in a city is called MAN or the Metropolitan Area Network. Okay? Network spread geographically. Country or across globe is called Wide Area Network or WAN. So, <clears throat> yan. So, mas uh, may, may intindihan na naman natin kung ano yung mga gamit ng mga types of network na yan. Ano-ano ba ang mga yan? Okay? So, <clears throat> ito yung personal area network. So, if a computer connected uh, to another computer, that is called a personal network. So, paano nangyayari yan? Paano natin to connect yung isang device sa isang device. Okay? So, uh, kung minsan, <clears throat> yung pag-connect uh, sa computer to computer example, ay hindi na kailangan ng mga rotor, ng mga, ng mga, tawag doon, yung mga switch, yan, mga access point, para mag-connect lang yan. So, ang kailangan lang natin is a cable. Di ba? cable or a bluetooth pwede na so just like yung computer to computer yun makikita nyo naman sa ano sa dito sa presentation natin yung uh, laptop to laptop <coughs> so pwedeng gamitin yan uh, wirelessly through bluetooth okay so wala walang ibang device or external accessories device na pwedeng mag-connect dyan. So, that is personal area network. Kumbaga, sarili mo lang. So, ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung Bluetooth. Okay? Bluetooth. Garun din sa cellphone. Garun din sa sa ano to, yung organizer. Garun din sa mouse, yung mouse, uh, wireless mouse na tinatawag Bluetooth din pwede. Garun din sa printer. So, Alam niyo ba na yung mga printer ngayon ay yung, ano yung, medyo wireless na rin sila. Kaya yung mga tablet natin, yung mga cellphone natin, pwede nang mag-print. Kaya yung mga ibang printer lang. So yung mga device na yan, yung nakalagay dyan, yung mga nasa palibot ng laptop, uh, wireless ang dinamit dyan through Bluetooth. Pwede rin siya infrared, kung ma-infrared. Okay, supported ng infrared. Pero yung infrared kasi, uh, light siya, so dapat magkatapat yung ilaw ng magkabila. Magkabila, magkabilang device. So ganun. Pero ngayon, 
uh, in-upgrade nila yung infrared, uh, ginawa nilang Bluetooth para uh, at least 10 meters yung distance, yung radius, uh, pwede kang mag-connect sa isang device. Okay, so gamin yung personal area network. Nandun lang sa sa kumbaga sa paligid mo. Okay, yung mga okay, yung mga personal na gamit mo na pwede mong i-connect sa laptop mo, sa isang device, mga ganun. O, pwede ring cellphone to cellphone, yan. Sa sa headset, yung mga Bluetooth o kaya may mga wired naman na ano, na headset, pwede mong i-connect sa mga uh, device mo. Okay, yung mga portable device, kumbaga. Okay, that is the fun. So, fun uh, or area or personal area network is the interconnection of information technology devices within the range of an individual person, practically within a range of 10 meters. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na yung Bluetooth, yung radius lang kasi niya is 10 meters, yung paikot pa niya. Okay? Yung nasa paligid niya, dapat 10 meters lang yung distance para makapag-communicate uh, yung dalawang device. Pero kapag lumampas na sa 10 meters, wala na. Pero kung 2,000, 10 meters yung isang laptop, 10 meters yung isang laptop, kung tutusin yan, that is 20 meters, di ba? Pero mas maganda na, mas malapit para makapag-connect ng maayos. Okay? You can use PAN network to transfer files including email and calendar appointments, digital photos and music, etc. from your portable device such as phone to computer and vice versa. Okay? So, yan. You can use PAN to transfer files okay? uh, through Bluetooth. Okay? Typically, this kind of personal area network could also be interconnected without wires to the internet or other network. Okay, yan. Without wire. Pwede naman na mayroong wire, pero yung ibang uh, device kasi hindi supported. Example, yung ano, yung yung UTP natin RJ45 okay at least yung yung computer to computer pwede nating connect kung supported niya yung uh, network interface uh, card port okay so pwede nating maano yan ma connect pero pag cellphone so pwedeng pwedeng mag-connect siya kaya lang through USB cables. Okay, yung mga charger niya. Okay, yung cable ng charger niya pwedeng i-connect. Yung data cables na tinatawag. Okay? So, ganun yung personal area network. So, within 10 meters. Yan, tandaan nyo yan. Kung yung isang network ay within 10 meters, yan. Pwede yung uh, yung personal area network. Okay. So, advantage of PAN network. Yan. No extra space is required. Siyempre, uh, sarili mo lang yun, di ba? No need and extra cables and networks. So, hindi, ka na hindi mo na kailangan yung mga devices such uh, UTP o mga materials. Okay? Yung mga cables. Yan. UTP, uh, RG45 to connect. Then, router, switch, hubs. Yan, di na kailangan yun. Kasi yung sa, sa laptop mismo, example is, uh, kaya na niyang i-provide yung, ano, yung sharing, kumbaga. Okay? Easily connect to many devices at a time. So, kailangan, pag nag-connect tayo, especially pag Bluetooth yung gamit natin, hindi naman pwedeng mag-connect ng more than one na device sa isang device. Okay? Then, affordable cost. Cost. Siyempre, hindi mo, hindi mo na kailangan magbayad ng network, hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng mga devices para mag-connect lang. Diba? Kung mayroon ka na yung device mo mismo, yung computer, yung laptop, 
nandun na rin yan. This network is fully, fully secure. Siyempre, sa'yo lang yun. Walang ibang makapag-connect kundi ikaw lang. Okay? Then, it is used in TV remotes, AC remotes, etc. Okay? Yung TV remote kasi, uh, yung mga ano natin ngayon, yung mga yung mga TV remotes, uh, tali, hindi Bluetooth yung gamit nila. Okay? Sa mga cellphone natin, pag uh, gumamit, ginamit natin as TV remotes, hindi Bluetooth yung gamit nila, kundi infrared. Kasi yung TV natin, infrared yung ginagamit niya, hindi Bluetooth. Okay? Uh, unless kung yung, yung TV natin is supported niya ang Bluetooth. Pero mostly kasi kahit yung mga, ano, yung mga LED TVs, uh, ang gamit nila is uh, infrared ilaw. Okay? And they, data can synchronize between different devices. Okay? Pwede natin i-sync i yung, yung ibang device to another device. And also it is portable. Okay? That, those are the advantages of PAN network. So napakadali lang. Okay? Yung disadvantage naman niya is its range is less. Kumbaga maliit lang yung sakop niya. Okay? It interferes through radio signals. Yan. Yun yung hindi maganda. Okay? So maraming barriers lang siya. Okay? Pag na na nakuburan lang siya ng konti, yun. Medyo yung signal niya na napuputol. Okay? Uh, the transfer of data is slow. Yan, mabagal lang siya. Cost is high in terms of communication devices. Okay, uh, of course, uh, pagbibili tayo ng, ano, ng device, kung gusto natin mag-communicate, uh, mag, uh, okay, so, example, sa computer to computer, pag gusto natin mag-connect sa ibang computer, of course, dapat meron kang uh, computer, bibili ka. Okay, ng cellphone, bibili ka. Yeah. Although yung network naman niya, yung network, it's free. Okay? Uh, free naman yun siya kasi hindi na kailangan ng magbayad sa, ano, sa PLDT o kaya sa Globe para makapag-communicate lang. So, uh, yun lang ang uh, disadvantage niya talaga. Okay? So, <coughs> uh, dito tayo sa local area network. Yan na naman. Okay? Local area network. Yan. So, local area network, either uh, server-based or peer-to-peer -peer natin tawag. Pero dito sa presentation natin, we have the centralized server. Yung nandun sa gitna, that is what we call the server. Okay? So, small computer network that are confined to a localized network is called a LAN. Okay, yung uh, nasa maliit lang na ano na kaya hindi naman malawak yung coverage niya. Example, sa room, yan, sa building, mga gano. The key purpose of LAN is to serve its user in resource sharing. Yan. So, lahat naman yung ano yung purpose naman ng networking is to share uh, data, pero dito kasi sa LAN is resource. Okay? Yung mga application, yan, mga file, yan ang sinishare lang natin. Pero the main purpose of networking is uh, sharing of data and communication. Okay? The hardware as well as software, software resources are shared through LAN. Yan. Hardware, example, yung, yung printer, yung hard drive, so, pwedeng i-share yun. Yung mga uh, camera, pwede siya. For instance, LAN, LAN users can share data, information, programs, printer, hard disk, modems, yun. Yan yung mga pwedeng ma-share sa mga uh, sa LAN. Okay? In a typical LAN configuration, one computer is designed as a file server. Yan. So, depende, yun nga, sabi ko, sa LAN, hindi naman kailangan na 
na meron pang server. Okay? Pero ang kagandahan kasi pag may server ka, secure din yung mga files mo. Yan. It stores all of the hardware that controls the network as well as the software that can be shared by the computer attached to the network. Yun ang kagandahan ng may server. Lahat ng software, uh, files, applications, so nandun sa iisa. So, kinokontrol ng server, kinokontrol ng administrator, yan para maging secure. Okay? Computers connected to the file server are called workstation. Yan. Workstation, client, yan, pwede rin. The workstation can be less powerful than the file server. Kasi yung, yung workstation kasi, ang ginagawa lang niya is to access the, the resources. Okay? So yung mga application, hindi mo naman kasi ma-open yung workstation kung hindi naka-open yung uh, server o kaya kapag hindi ka uh, binigyan ng uh, tawag doon, ng karapatan, kumbaga, na mag-access. Okay. Ganun yung uh, server o kaya yung file server. Kung hindi ka binigyan ng karapatan, hindi ka pwedeng makapag-access. Diba? So, yun lang. Kaya mas powerful pa rin yung server kaysa sa workstation. Yan. The advantage of plan is resource sharing. LAN provides resource, resource sharing. This reduces cost and hardware purchases. Okay. Yeah. Easy and cheap communication. Data and messages can easily be shared with the other computer connected to the lab. Of course, okay. data, sharing. Share mo lang yung folder, yung file, yung drive, then pwede mo na siyang uh, access kapag meron kang permission. Okay, yan. Data security. Since data is stored on the, on the server computer, it will be easy to manage it at, at only one place and the data will be more secure too. Of course. So, kasi lalo na kapag uh, yung server natin, isa lang yung nagmamanage. Yun ang kagandahan. Pero pag marami, pwede, pwede lang uh, pwede uh, nakawin kumbaga, yung mga file, yung mga programs, yung mga system. Pero kapag isa lang yung nagmamanage, siya lang may alam ng password para mag-share, yun, secured yung data. At saka kung hindi naman siya connected sa internet, yun, pwede rin uh, mas secured kasi walang ibang nasa uh, tagalabas na pwede mag-access sa data. Okay? Internet sharing. Local area network provides the facility to share a single internet connection among all the LAN users. Uh, gaya ng ginagawa natin. Uh, meron tayong local area, net area network, pero yung, yung uh, internet natin is uh, iisa lang. So once na connected yung isang, yung isang device sa internet, example, yung router o kaya yung switch, yan. Uh, from router to switch at yung, ma yung switch naman dito nakakonect yung yung mga computers of, of course yung, yung mga computers na connected doon automatic connected na rin sila sa internet okay? so ganun lang kadali yung pag share ng internet sa uh, local area network okay? disadvantage High setup cost. The initial setup cost of installing local area network is high. Okay. Cables, especially. Medyo mahal yung cables. So, hindi lang naman isang cable lang ang gagamitin natin. So, baka isang kilometro, dalawang kilometro. Depende yan sa layo 
kung saan ilalagay natin yung computers natin. Saan i-set up natin yung LAN natin. So, example, kung meron kang four-story building. Yan. Okay, kahit na nasa second floor, galing sa uh, four, fourth, fourth floor, third floor, and the first floor, medyo malayo na rin. Ilang, ilang ano yan, ilang, ilang metro na yan. Ilang, ilang cables yung gagamitin natin. Okay. Covers limited area. Yan. Land are restricted in size. They cover small area like a single office, single building, or a group of nearby buildings. So, pag, uh, yun nga, yung past lesson natin, yung sa mga devices, network devices, di ba na na-discuss natin yung repeater. So, dito, pag... Uh, pag uh, gumamit ka na ng ano o kaya nag-connect ka ng LAN through uh, nearby building yan sa kabilang building kumbaga eh uh, gagamit tayo ng repeater pero yun nga ang sabi natin hindi tayo pwedeng maglagay ng more than uh, two or more repeater okay hindi pwedeng mag-segment na pinat... Uh, yun yung term niya. Segment. Pri privacy violations. The LAN administrator can see and check personal data files of each and every LAN user. Yun lang ang uh, hindi maganda. Yung network administrator natin ay pwede niyang tignan lahat ng mga file natin. Pwede niyang isa-isahin kasi nasa kanya yung control. Pero yun nga, yung LAN natin, hindi, hindi naman required na masasabi natin na LAN uh, na dapat may uh, server. Peer-to-peer -peer network. Yan, LAN na rin yan. So, no need a server, server or centralized server. Ang gagawin lang natin, Uh, lagyan natin ng password, yung file natin, yung restriction. So, yan. Pwede na. So, each terminal, doon sa peer-to-peer -peer kasi, serve as a server. So, pero hindi natin, hindi ibig sabihin nun na, na hindi na secure. So, yun, pwede, yun nga sinasabi ko, pwede nating pwede, pwede natin Uh, lagyan ng restriction din yung mga personal files natin pag gumamit tayo ng peer-to-peer. -peer. Data security threat. Okay? Unauthorized users can access important data of an office or campus. Yun, yun yung sinabi ko rin kanina na uh, dapat yung, yung computer natin or yung server natin ay dapat isa lang ang nagmamanage. Yan. Yun yung administrator, yung network administrator. Okay? So, yun, yun ang disadvantage ng LAN. Yan. Dito naman tayo sa metropolitan area network. Uh, ang coverage naman na, nito is city to city. city. Okay? Medyo mas, mala, mas malawak tayo sa LAN. Yan. So, ito yung example niya sa present dito sa presentation yan uh, network 1 2 3 and 4 okay yan metropolitan area network within a city or city to city yan iman is a network that is utilized across multiple buildings Iman is a system of plans connected throughout a city or a, or a metropolitan area. Okay? It is used to mean the interconnection of several lands by, by bridging them together. Okay? The purpose of Iman is also the sharing of hardware and software resources among its users. So, halos parehas din siya sa LAN. Uh, na pwedeng mag-share ng hardware, ng software among its users. Yeah. 
this uh, advantage sa man advantage of man less expensive it is less expensive to attach man and man gives you good efficiency of data all data on man is easily manageable in a centralized way sending local emails you can send local emails fast and free on man syempre uh, that is your personal network din yan uh, personal network uh, ibig sabihin uh, managed by the company or even pwede rin na pwedeng government so pwedeng mag-connect din ng isang government local government or kaya provincial government ng sarili nilang network example from ito sa atin sa Tabuk o sa Kalinga okay yung provincial government natin para ma-access niya yung mga ano yung mga o kaya po, uh, para ma-monitor niya yung mga ibang ibang offices niya sa other uh, uh, municipalities so pwede silang mag uh, mag gumawa okay, ng ito ng man or metropolitan area network para makapag-communicate sila. Okay? Then high speed than one. Speed of data can easily reach upon 1000 Mbps as man uses fiber optics, files and the base transfers are fast. So, depende naman. Uh, hindi naman lahat fiber optics, di ba? Pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng ano, yung ng coaxial o kaya UTP, pwede rin. Pero ang fiber optics kasi medyo mas uh, mabilis talaga kasi ilaw. Okay? Then sharing of the internet. Okay? With the installation of man, user can share their internet connection. In this way, multiple users can get the same high-speed internet. Okay? So, halos parehas lang ng LAN pero yung man kasi mas malawak yung coverage niya. Okay? So disadvantage, so difficult to manage. Yeah. It is very difficult to manage if the size of num and number of LANs network increase. This is due to security and extra configuration problems. So pag maraming LAN nakakonect, siyempre yung configuration, yan, yung maintenance mahirap din. Ha hacker hackers attack. In this network there is a high risk of attacking hackers as compared to land. So data may leak, high security stuff is required in man. So dapat yung mga security staff hindi ibig sabihin na yung mga security guard kundi yung mga uh, dalubhasa sa ano sa network yung mga administrators network administrators yan so yung mga files kasi pag sa ano pag sa LAN o may sa man so uh, medyo naka ano siya naka leak kumbaga nandun lang siya so pwedeng mag uh, magkaroon ng leak kasi nandun na siya sa labas eh kaya pwedeng mag-connect yung iba. So, yan. So, since uh, yung, ano, yung isang office naman o kaya yung isang department, hindi naman siya responsible sa, ano, sa policy ng man, yan, pwedeng mag yung mga data. Okay? Need more wires. Yan. Tama. Man requires more cables than LAN. As you know, it is a combination of two or more LANs. Lalo na, nasa labas yan. So, Pag-connect sa mga ibang municipality, cities, yan. Uh, it needs uh, more cables. Technical staff requires to set up. Highly technical people are required to set up man. Technical people are network administrators and troubleshooters. Yeah. Magkaiba kasi yung, ano, kung minsan, yung network administrator at saka yung technician. 
yung yung administrator mi na manage lang niya yung system yung server example yung troubleshooters example sila yung lalabas si field lalo na sa ano yan kahit na sabihin natin uh, within a building syempre lalabas yan so mag-check ng cable yan ng mga device hindi naman pwedeng yung ad administrator ang nagkano yan nag naggagawa pa kasi napakahirap na trabaho yung network administrator lahat pag nagka trouble yung ano yung network pwede siyang sisihin okay pag nag-leak yung data pwede siyang sisihin daw okay pag na virus yan kasalanan niya okay Then we have the wide area network, okay? Or the one. So ito na yung sinasabi natin na the network spread across countries are known as one. Yeah. One across. Countries or around the globe. A wide area network is a group of computers that are separated by large distance and tied together. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na isa yung device mo o yung computer mo, if you are connected into the internet, then you are considered as a part of a one. Uh, wide area network connected uh, yun, yun. yung isang computer connected sa internet then ibig sabihin network na yung computer mo it can even be a group of plants that are spread across several locations and connected together to look like one big land yan yeah. Collection of land, kumbaga, around the countries. Okay. Sometimes they can be connected through list lines or satellite. The largest one in existence is the internet. Okay. Internet is the example of one wide area network that is the internet. The advantage of one covers large geographical area. It covers a large geographical area of 1,000 kilometers or more. Yeah, hindi lang 1,000. Pero pag uh, gumamit tayo ng satellite, that is uh, miles, thousands of miles. Centralized data. All branches can share data through head office server high bandwidth high data transfer array and bandwidth sharing of software and resources yan sharing works like lan so yung ano yung one kasi uh, international or around the globe yan pwede kang mag access ng software ng application yan, pwede kang mag-download kung saan-saan. Pero, ang disadvantage kasi niya, medyo, yan, pwedeng, uh, it needs firewall and antivirus software. Yan, maganda, uh, maganda siya, ma, uh, pwede tayong mag-access sa ibang computer, sa, sa ibang website, kaya lang, dapat meron kang firewall and antivirus software. Yan. Firewall and antivirus software needs to be installed sa computer mo. Para kapag nag-download ka ng galing sa internet, secure yung computer mo. Kasi kapag nag-download tayo, especially antivirus yan, nag-download tayo, sabihin ko, sa, uh, sabihin ko to sa inyo, na kapag nag-download tayo ng antivirus, hindi natin alam kung saan-saan galing yan. 
Kaya hindi advisable na dinadownload natin mga antivirus through internet. Kuminsan yung mga Avas, yung mga niyan yung mga Node 32 na yan. Siyempre, binibenta rin yan. Hindi naman basta-basta uh, dinadownload lang natin yan. So, meron siyang ano yan, may mga original copy niya. So, nilalagay, kung minsan nilalagay lang sa internet para i-download. Pero, in reality, kasi, yung mga downloaded uh, applications like uh, mga tawag doon yung mga cleaner, yung mga utility. Yan. Yung mga detector, virus detector, virus cleaner na sinasabi nila, yung mga malware cleaner. Ito, ang realidad kasi niyan ay meron siyang naka-insert doon na, anti uh, na virus actually. Okay? Kasi kapag yung isang ano, kapag yung isang antivirus, syempre <clears throat> pag dinownload natin 'yan, pag uh, in-install natin sa computer natin 'yan, kapag ni-run mo 'yan, magkakaroon siya ng virus na na-detect. Okay? Meron siyang virus na na-detect. O saya-saya mo naman na-detect niya yung virus. Na-delete, sabi pa, deleted. Pero, itry mo ulit na iscan. Meron na naman. Ganon pa rin klaseng virus. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin nun, uh, parang, ano lang yun, parang, kung ba, propaganda? Yun ba ang, ano, o kaya advertisement na yung virus, antivirus na yun ay nadetect niya o kaya na tatanggal niya yung 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 virus na yun. Pero nandun sa kanya yung virus. E ganun pa rin yung nangyayari. E like uh, SMADAP. So, yung mga antivirus hindi ibig sabihin. Sinisiraan kong mga yan. Pero yun yung reality kasi. Lalo na pag ga, ga, galing siya sa internet. Okay? Siyempre, advertisement yan. Pero ang katotohanan yan ay hindi niya tinatanggal yung virus na yun. Kasi sa kanya yun. Eh. Napapansin nyo pag nag-download kayo ng ano, nag-install kayo ng antivirus galing sa internet. Uh, ang nangyayari dyan, unti-unting uh, uh, bumabagal din yung computer niyo. Kung minsan naghahang na, kung na-encounter niya, naghahang. Yan. Medyo uh, magtaka na kayo kung bakit gano'n yung nangyayari. May antivirus naman. Install ko naman ng antivirus. Pero, yun nga. Medyo Uh, hindi maganda ang mga kasi talaga. Yung mga galing sa internet. Unless yung site. Okay, yung site na pinagkunan mo ay uh, yung resource site mo is website is known naman. Mayroon siyang capability na mag, mag uh, scan. Maganda yon Kaya dapat pag nagda-download tayo kahit na anong software dapat yung website na pinag uh, pinanggalingan ng antivirus sa kanya ng application dapat meron siyang characteristic na is kanya muna yung file bago i-download yan so to set up the setup cost is high yeah one setting up one for the first time in office cost higher money. So yung mga ano yung mga lalo na pag yung hindi lang isang office, yung buong building o kaya na medyo mahal din kasi bibili ka ng uh, access point, ng router. 
Yan. Kung desktop yung gamit mo, bibili ka ng mga ano yung mga USB na Wi-Fi, magaroon kailangan mo ng Wi-Fi, lagyan mo ng Wi-Fi yung desktop pero pag laptop, mayroon, mayroon na siya built in naman na siya. Server down and disconnection issue. Yan. One. Customers often face connectivity issues or low internet speed issues. Yan. Yan yung problema talaga. Pag yung, yung place mo is uh, hindi maganda yung signal. Kumbaga. Kasi sa, uh, every places, meron si, silang binibigay na speed. Kumbaga. Yung Uh, example sa dito, dito sa Kalinga example o kaya sa Tabuk City Ang nangyayari kasi diyan uh, may nakalaan na uh, internet speed sa isang lugar example pag dito 5 Mbps lang Yun ang igagamitin natin buong Tabuk yun uh, Sa Manila Medyo mas mabilis sila. Kasi mas uh, kumbaga mas maraming tao, mas maraming gagamit. Yan. Troubleshooting problem. As one covers a lot of area so fixing the problem in it is difficult. Yan. Maraming kaya kung minsan yung mga internet providers natin na uh, nagkakaroon ng maintenance, mga ganun kasi initi nagto-troubleshooting sila. Nawawala yung internet natin kasi uh, nasisira din yung mga equipment nila. Hindi eh, naman lahat may uh, hindi, hindi nasisira, di ba? So, may hangganan din ang uh, isang bagay. Okay, so differ differentiating between Uh, the type of networks. Man basically uses LAN technology. Yeah. Most of the features of LAN are also applicable to, for MAN. So, well, so we will be differentiating LAN and MAN in deep. Yeah. In naming this network, the main distinguishing factor would appear to be the uh, size of the area cover yan local local air network yan ito let's see so yan okay so land versus man the distance between two components of land can only be uh, in between 1 to 10 kilometers One usually operates at the speed of 1 Mbps and land operates at the speed of 1 to 10 Mbps. Speed of land can be further increased to hundreds of Mbps using optical fiber technology. Yan, pwede mapabilis pa. Error rates of land are much lower than, the, than that of one due to the short distance involved. Yan. So, yung land daw, yung error rates niya is uh, mas mababa. Kasi short distance na siya. Error rates of land can be 100 times lower or 1,000 times lower than the error rates of a typical one network. And land are under the ownership and control of A single organization prior to the distance limitation, but once are operated by the country's post and telecommunication authority or ISP. Ano ang ISP? The Internet Service Provider. Yan. So, ito yung kanya yung difference niya. Yung land, diameter not more than a few kilometer. Area, span of entire cities, that is what. Land, data rate more than 1 Mbps and data rate, 1 data rate 
less than 1 in BPS. Yeah. Uh, LAN is an ownership by single organization and one owned by multiple organization. And LAN, very low error rates and one higher error rates. Yeah. So, uh, dyan nag tatapos ang ating uh, presentation regarding types of networks. Okay, so, lagi nating paalala yan, na kapag uh, nag, uh, pinapanood natin dito o kaya naka-join kayo sa, sa Zoom na to, so paalala ko lang na dapat nasayo yung module mo para mas masundan mo pa ng mas o oh, mas uh, yan mas susundan mo yung mga topics natin at maintindihan so yan so, yung ano natin yung yung activity natin nandiyan din sa module natin so gawin niyo yon at uh, yun ang uh, bibigay niya sa akin. At yun ang check-check na. Okay. So, that's all and uh, thank you and goodbye. Okay. Okay.